New Year's Eve is shitty as fuck. Here's what I have to say about that. There's a thousand fucking year-end reviews on shit nobody gives a fuck about. Like, why? 90% of everything is bullshit. So why do I want to sit and waste an hour watching a review on some bullshit that I didn't care about when it was happening? So why do I care about it now? Because it's the end of the year. Get the fuck out of here. Most people want to say that they learned from their mistakes from the previous year, move on, and then fucking forget that they even learned anything and then go back to making the same fucking mistakes they made last year. So why the hell would anybody give a fuck about a year in review. Everyone's saying in 2019 I'm cutting out all of the negative people in my life. I'm not gonna talk to anybody who isn't helping me or isn't sending out good vibes. Bitch, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. You know damn well on January 3rd you're gonna be banging on Billy's door saying you're sorry for ignoring his punk ass and Billy's gonna be like Oh, you were ignoring me and you're gonna walk in that fucking house and go back to fucking with the same bitch ass motherfuckers you were fucking with last year. Get the fuck out of here. Why the fuck do people still do New Year's resolutions? I don't get it. I accepted in middle school that I'm a piece of shit and I'm never gonna be more than that. I have accepted who I am, I've embraced it, and I am letting my assholishness just flourish. Why can't people just accept who they are? Like, if you really want to change, if you really want to lose weight, if you really want to get into reading or learn a new language or do something productive with your life, why the fuck do you have to wait until the new year? If you want to do something, make changes. Fuck it, make the fucking changes. Don't wait for... A resolution for the new year to be your reason for doing some shit like get motivated and do that shit stop being bitches fuck I don't understand why clubs and bars think it's okay to fucking throw these expensive ass parties just because it's New Year's Eve they throw these parties it's just a regular ass party that you can go to any fucking weekend at the same place for a fraction of the price. They serve you watered down, gross ass booze, overpriced fucking booze. Why the fuck am I paying $13, $14 for a fucking Jack and Coke? That's bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck your family. Fuck your fucking dog. Fuck your life. I fucking hate you. Bitch. Who made this executive decision to make champagne the, like, drink of New Year's Eve? Champagne is basically the fucking sparkling water of booze. So why the fuck am I about to pay $8 for a glass of fucking champagne at this bitch-ass party? When you're a single motherfucker like me and you go to these parties, there's a lot that you have to take into account. If you're with friends, you could just stay in this little group, little tight-knit group, and ignore every motherfucker that comes up to you. So if you're bold, you'll find the cutest motherfucker in the place that you think probably doesn't have mouth herpes. And then you'll just chat him up. Buy him a $20 fucking drink, maybe. And uh, just see what happens. You gotta plant those seeds early so that when it's almost midnight, he'll come find your ass. And as long as he probably doesn't have mouth herpes, you'll have someone to make up with. And follow on Instagram. Never speak to again after that day. Isn't that why people go to these parties? Right. There's so many fucking cop checkpoints for drunk drivers. Like... It's a pain in the ass. Like, if you and your friends go out to drink, you have to decide amongst, amongst yourself which one of you are the kind of drunk that knows they're drunk, so drives more 
carefully and slowly because they know they're drunk. Did I just steal that joke from a fucking family guy? Maybe. Uber. Y'all are fucking assholes. You want us to get home safely by taking an Uber. But instead you choose to bend us over and rape our fucking wallets with these goddamn surge prices. Knowing damn well I just spent fucking $80 or more to get into this fucking party, spent $40 on two fucking drinks, and now you want me to pay fucking $20 to go four miles back to the house? Fuck you. I would fucking walk home, but that's how bitches get kidnapped and fucking murdered. Sold into the fucking sex, sex trade. Wind up homeless on the street. Wind up fucking, fucking old men. Wind up dead. Wind up with three kids on welfare. Wind up looking like fucking Deadpool. <laughs> you gotta be fucking smart, guys. Just have a fucking party at your house. Make it BYOB. Spend $30 on some pizza and shit from Pizza Hut. And then call that shit a day. Have all your friends worry about figuring out how the hell they're gonna get home. It's that simple. Problem solved. New Year's Eve master. You're welcome. Or, bitch, or you can just drink at home alone like me on New Year's Eve. I mean, I do that every day, so I don't need New Year's Eve for an excuse to drink at home alone. So, <laughs> January 1st is just another fucking. Get your ass up, be grateful for being fucking alive like you are every other day of the fucking year. And keep on fucking trekking. That's it. Well, that's all I have to say about that shit. Thank you for liking, commenting, not being dicks, and subscribing. And uh, I'll catch y'all motherfuckers in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.